Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Breaking news overnight after a manager at Dottie's on West Flamingo was run over and killed after she confronted a man who stole a customer's purse. After snatching her purse, that male fled and got into a vehicle. The manager of the Dottie's ran out after him and confronted him. At that point, the male pulled a handgun, which caused the manager to retreat from the vehicle and walk to the rear of the vehicle. At that point, the driver put the car in reverse and ran over the manager of the Dotties and then fled. The manager later died at UMC from her injuries. The man has yet to be identified by police, but they say he is a black male in his 20s. They urge anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers at 702-385-5555. In more top stories, parents across the country are scrambling to find baby formula due to supply disruptions and a massive safety recall by a company called Abbott in February. This is a look at local shelves here and some stores in the Valley that have been impacted, but it's being felt all over Southern Nevada. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the FDA was working around the clock to address any possible shortages. For now, pediatricians and health workers are urging parents who can't find formula to contact food banks or doctor's offices. They warn against watering down formula to stretch supply or using online DIY recipes. And more details emerging from the five-car crash on I-15 on Saturday that left two people dead. The driver admitting to police that he had been drinking tequila and smoking marijuana prior to the collision. 27-year-old Marique Macklin faces three counts of DUI causing death and a misdemeanor count of having an open alcohol container in the vehicle. Two bottles of alcohol were found in the back seat of his Toyota after the crash killed two passengers in his car who were not wearing seatbelts. Macklin is still in custody and is due in court today. And a Florida woman is accused of stealing more than $1 million from her mother here in Henderson. On Tuesday, Deborah Lynn Burnett was booked on charges of theft and exploiting a vulnerable person. The charges stem from a complaint filed by Burnett's mother in February 2021, in which she claims Burnett was abusive and wired money from her account totaling more than a million dollars. When Burnett was confronted, she reportedly told her mother, quote, I hope you die so I can spit on your grave. Her preliminary hearing is set for May 24th. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the Las Vegas-based data firm Switch Inc. announced yesterday it has sold for $11 billion. The deal with Digital Bridge Group is expected to officially close later this year and will be taken private, no longer trading on the New York Stock Exchange. Switch founder and CEO Rob Roy said the sale is in line with the company's long-term goals, with plans to build 11 million square feet of capacity through 2030. And here's a look at the design for the new Civic Plaza downtown. It was unveiled yesterday at the Mayor's Urban Design Awards. It's located across the street from City Hall and will include new offices and a plaza for events. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Southern Nevada Health District is looking to curb sugar consumption this summer with this new soda-free summer challenge. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more on this not-so-sweet story. James? Yeah, not so sweet is right, Renee. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, sugary drinks account for about 35% of the average consumption of added sugars in the U.S. So to reduce that number here in the Las Vegas Valley, a challenge has kicked off targeting locals through social media and other community events. Officials expanded on that campaign. This year we're doing a summer soda-free summer challenge where we encourage, uh, we encourage participants to sign up, um, learn about um, why it's good to you know, reduce soda consumption, um, sh um, sugar beverages, um, as that way as, as, as it improves your health. Now that campaign did kick off last week on May 5th. It will be continuing with a local campaign for the public ending on August 6th. Renee? Now it's time for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Bad news for boaters due to low water levels at Lake Mead. 
Boaters can still access the lake from Hemingway Harbor and access points on Lake Mojave, but Echo Bay boat ramp is now closed. The National Park Service says prepare for longer launch wait times during the weekends. Now let's take a look at your weather forecast. Sunny and light winds are forecasted for your Thursday. Today's highs reaching about 79 degrees with wind gusts topping around 18 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Winds will decrease by tonight, evening lows around 57 degrees. For the rest of the week, temps will begin to climb. Friday, we could see 90 degrees with light winds, upper 90s by Saturday and 100 degrees by Sunday. We'll also be starting our work week in the low 100s with mostly clear skies, evening lows in the mid 60s, low 70s. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Former Jaguars and Jets wide receiver Keelan Cole has signed a one-year deal with the Raiders. The 29-year-old wideout spent the first four years of his career in Jacksonville before spending last season with the Jets. He has played extensively as a slot receiver, but spent much of last season on the outside and also has some special teams experience as a returner. The terms of his deal have not yet been disclosed. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Phoenix Suns and Miami Heat are each a win away from the NBA Conference Finals. The Suns are two-point road favorites over the Dallas Mavericks at Circus Sports today in Game 6, and the total is 212. The Heat are two-point road underdogs to the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 6, and the total is 207.5. Phoenix is plus 227 to win its first NBA championship, and Miami is plus 525. Philadelphia is 35 to 1 and Dallas is 55 to 1. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river. A lucky local hits a seven card straight flush on Tuesday night. The winner was playing at Green Valley Ranch when they hit a big time win. The payout? More than $115,000. And a federal program to help connect more Nevadans to low-cost, high-speed internet access is in the works. There are more than 450,000 households in Nevada that are either unserved or underserved. The federal program allows households to reduce internet costs by up to $30 a month. To find out if you are eligible, visit GetInternet.gov. In your entertainment news, R&B duo Silk Sonic is extending their Vegas residency. The funk revival fronted by Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars have added dates for August 3rd through the 19th at Park MGM. The duo is also set to perform this Sunday at the Billboard Music Awards. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.